So in this video, we're gonna talk about how Bianca stole Jax on a backstage and how I want something very similar like that to happen on Girl Meets World where Maya steals Lucas. And also, I'm gonna give my quick thoughts on the new Disney movie that apparently just got released recently called Moana. You guys ready? What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so I touched on this briefly in a previous video, but I think something like this deserves its own dedicated video because my feelings on this are so strong. So let's just dive right into it. So there were a lot of great moments that happened on backstage, but there was one moment in particular that convinced me that you know what? This show is different. This show is not like your typical Disney show. And there are actually a few moments like that on backstage, but this moment in particular, this moment really won me over and made me a backstage fan. And that's the moment that Bianca stole Jax from his current girlfriend. And let me tell you why this won me over. Besides the fact that I never really liked Jenna anyways, and I still don't. But just because of how unpolitically correct that it was. The way that it happened. Bianca stole Jax in one of the least moral-filled ways that you can possibly steal somebody. I mean, she lied to Jenna about Jax and said that Jax was cheating on her when he obviously wasn't and that was the cause of the whole breakup if that never happened they would probably still be together today so their whole breakup was based on something that never even happened because of something Bianca said and if this had happened in real life and people found out about this, most people would probably be really pissed off at her about it. And even after Jax found out, instead of doing what I thought he was gonna do, which is get all pissed off and never wanna talk to Bianca again, they ended up dating directly after he found out. You wanna talk about kicking politically correctness right in the nuts? That's what Backstage just did in that scenario. They weren't worried about trying to make everybody happy or make sure that the audience all felt like the right thing was done here. They were just worried about being entertaining and realistic. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but real life is very far from what you see on Disney channel and it's a lot more like what happened in this scenario there's a lot of shady people in the world and there's a lot of liars and even a lot of them have boyfriends and girlfriends and this is exactly what i want to happen with maya and lucas well not exactly but something very similar i want maya to do something that may be considered foul and wrong to a lot of people to go get the guy that she knows that she wants deep down i want maya to take her friendship that she has with riley and just for a brief moment spit on that sh and say you know what i'm gonna do what's best for me I'm gonna do what I want. For once in my life, I'm gonna actually be selfish and look out for my own happiness. And yes, I want her to feel bad about it later because, you know, Maya is not a bad person, but she is human. And her best friend is dating a guy that she really wants. And I want her to slip up and just do something about it. And I want her to steal Lucas. And you know what? After that happens and she gets Lucas, Lucas, I would like it for her and Riley to eventually make up and Riley to eventually forgive her But you know, I got to be honest. That's not really my top priority But you know, I know this show is about their friendship and it is on Disney So I'm pretty sure the writers can find a way for them to make up even after this happened Put your creative juices to the test. Let me work on the episode. Hell, I'll find a way I mean, it's really not that hard, but I'm just like a natural creative person it doesn't really take much effort usually for me to think of great ideas. They just come to me. And I really think this is one of the main reasons that Backstage is going to surpass Girl Meets World as the best show on Disney Channel. 
in my opinion it already has but in the minds of most other people as well because besides really really young children most people don't like the fairy tale unrealistic storylines at least not compared to some real sh people like things that they can relate to people like things that they can watch and say you know what this could actually happen in real life now don't get me wrong the occasional fairy tale is nice too but but when it comes to sitcom related shows i think most people prefer it the other way the real way not these far-fetched storylines that would never ever happen in real life but you guys can let me know what you think about that. I think they need to make it happen. They definitely cannot keep going on the same path that they're currently going down right now. Because if that's the case, they're f They might as well cancel their show right now. But I already covered that in previous videos, so let's not even get into that again in this video. So now, one more thing that I want to touch on really quickly, and that's the new Disney movie that I'm just now finding out just got released in theaters today, and that's called, I believe, I hope I don't butcher this name, Moana. And I know I rag on Disney a lot, but guys, I have a confession to make. Although I find a lot of their shows to be silly and stupid, I still have a place in my heart for a lot of Disney movies. I mean, hell, some of my favorite movies of all time are Disney movies. So when a new promising looking Disney movie gets released, I definitely have at least one eye on it. And I checked out the trailer for this movie, and the creator the creators of this movie, I believe, are also the creators of a couple of more really, really appreciated and highly rated Disney movies. In other words, they know what they're doing. And also, one of the voice actors are acted by Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock. One of the best wrestlers and highly respected actors in the industry, in case you didn't know. So that's pretty cool too. But the trailer kind of left me feeling pretty, I don't know, indifferent? A part of me wants to go see the movie because I feel like it has potential. But at the same time, the trailer didn't really grab me. The only thing that it did was leave me intrigued enough to debate on going to see the movie. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because if I do go see the movie, I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in me reviewing it. Now, the movie just got released, so it's in theaters at the moment. So if you guys want to see it, it's not going to be on TV for quite a while. So you would have to go to the movies and see it yourself if you want to know what I'm talking about when I make my review on it. But I am debating on going within the next couple of days or so. But I was curious to know if any of you guys were interested in seeing this movie, or if any of you have already seen this movie, and how do you feel about Disney movies in general, both new and old. I still plan on possibly making a video about my favorite Disney movies of all time as well. But I'm done talking. Uh, let me know how you guys would feel about Maya stealing Lucas away from Riley, even if it meant them going through a very rough patch in their friendship, in the comment section below. And if you guys are interested in supporting my channel so I can make many more videos for you guys going forward, check out that Patreon link in the description box. But I'm done talking. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.